Good Wednesday, I think. Yes, Wednesday afternoon. Meteorologist Austin Onik live and direct from out in the field this evening. And if you are stopping by again for anything on the way home tonight, we have again plenty of showers and thunderstorms starting to pop up across portions of the area. So if you do have plans for outdoors, definitely want to keep again a firm hand on the steering wheel. Forecast information here in the blue bar and again down toward the red bar where you can find me on social media and not looking too good out there where it comes to things in the way of of flooding across the Mid-South. We've got numerous flood warnings up and down the Mississippi River. We've got numerous flash flood warnings and flood watches in effect for areas into and around Northeast Arkansas and across a lot of Southern Missouri. So this is going to be again with us for quite some time at this time. If you are gonna be doing anything outdoors, this is where you're gonna be having to deal with a lot of problems out and up that direction. How much of a problem is it? We'll take a look again at what's going on up into around Arkansas where we have have flash flood warnings in effect up around the Randolph County area and going to continue to see again the possibility of more problems out there with a levee failure around the Black River at Pocahontas. Some major flooding going on there and a lot more problems out across portions of the upper Midwest as we have even more rainfall moving into portions of the Midwest, and that's exactly where they don't need it. Even more rainfall is expected into later on tonight, and we're going to be seeing again a lot more problems into the Mid-South and points beyond. The view from the Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Center showing again the river and current creek information, lakes, rivers, streams, stuff like that, all across the area is showing a lot of gauges into and around minor and major flooding. The color key over on the right hand side of your screen major flooding in purple back around the black Ho black river at pocahontas a little bit farther down toward black rock arkansas major flooding going on there water heading down toward the white river at newport again that also causing a lot of problems there the white river near augusta continues to be in major flood stage and the cash river at patterson arkansas also in major flood stage as well black river at corning is not too bad it's expected to crest and head back downwards again and that again is not really too much of a major concern because a lot of that's heading for parts of the Arkansas, but a lot of the area for the Mississippi River is still looking at major flooding taking place around Osceola at the Mississippi River there. Also around Carruthersville, we're seeing again more problems with minor flooding taking place at that location. Here in the Memphis area, minor flooding with a crest of around 36 feet expected around the area of next Wednesday. So it's still taking a long time for all this water to get down the river and continue that direction. So if you are planning on traveling anywhere into around, again, northeastern Arkansas or southern parts of Missouri, there is just a lot of water still needing to get out of there, even days after the rainfall actually happened. This is going to continue to cause a lot of problems. So call ahead, check your destination, see what's going on. A lot of roadways in Missouri are also closed. So that's something, again, you can take a look at before going anyplace trying to make certain that you stay safe out there again while you're traveling in those particular locations so please keep that in mind something to think about as you're heading out the door wherever you may be going here in the mid-south there are a lot of clouds out there you can check out our webcams available at wreg.com webcams for more and more information about the flooding from the national weather service at weather.gov meg air quality awareness week is in progress if you'd like to know more about what you can do to help out air quality you can go to the epa.gov Gov's website, the Environmental Protection Agency's website during Air Quality Awareness Week, and tons of information available to give you more details as to what's going on across portions of the Mid-South area. So a great opportunity to look at more information there as to what's happening. This rain is going to be sticking around for the evening tonight. Again, a lot of what we're seeing for right now is, again, the heaviest rainfall now into portions of northwest Tennessee and continuing over into around portions of northeastern Arkansas. Plenty of rainfall in that location, mainly moving its way back toward the east and will continue that direction throughout the rest of the evening. So a lot of this going into parts of northern Mississippi. Some activity for in and around portions of Shelby County, but we just haven't seen that much activity so far in the course of the last couple of hours. But we will be seeing more as we these showers and thunderstorms develop ahead of this area of rain and that's going to continue to make its way into the Mid-South area throughout the rest of the evening. So get set for more rainfall out across much of the Mid-South. Again, what we're looking at here on Radar Scopes app is around West Tennessee, a few lightning strikes between Stanton and Brownville, uh, also Brownsville, also up into the area around Maury City, Alamo, south of Friendship, 
to the east of Dyersburg around Yorkville, picking up a few active thunderstorms taking place there, and that appears to be the threat throughout the course of the rest of the next several days. So that is again where we're going to be seeing more potential for showers and thunderstorms out there. A lot of activity in the way of lightning earlier over around Clarendon, Holly Grove, Marvell, uh, into around areas east of Little Rock heading this way. Storms ahead of that line into this area might be seeing again the possibility of some stronger weather, but so far from what it looks like, we are not looking at anything uh, in the way of severe weather at this time, so definitely good news on that. Flooding potential, yes, but not seeing anything at this point that really says that we're going to be getting into anything uh, in the way of heavy weather. How do we know that? Well, let's take a look at the Storm Prediction Center and show you more about what we're looking for there. That, again, is where we see the potential for uh, the heavier thunderstorms down to our south and west. That marginal threat area getting a little bit closer to the mid-south, that dark green category, but it does not look like it's actually in the area. So for that light green, that's where we see, again, the potential of just generic thunderstorms taking place, and that should be just about it. Into tomorrow, the threat is basically gone, heads its way back over to the northeast, and will continue that direction throughout the next couple of days, leaving us with dry and cooler weather coming on through. How much cooler? Well, looking very nice indeed. Temperatures as we go into tonight, much cooler back in the lower to mid 50s. And then as we get into tomorrow, high temperatures, not much warmer than that, only back into around the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s. And that's going to be about it. But we'll also be seeing more chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the early morning into the afternoon. And temperatures again, very much on the mild side. Winds will be out of the northwest and they will be breezy. So something to think about if you're going to be out and about tomorrow is those winds will be out of the southwest early and then switching to the northwest throughout the rest of the day. Some very warm conditions out there for this evening, but some very cool, dry, and breezy conditions as we get into early tomorrow. So something to think about there. For Thursday night, temperatures back in the upper 40s. Again, chances of rain still around, but moving out of the picture, so it won't be totally dry. But it will be very nice as we get into next week. Friday, chances of showers and thunderstorms gone to the east of us and a few leftover showers possible here and there. Temperatures for highs, mid to upper 50s to mid 60s. And here's the best news of all. As we go into the weekend, beautiful conditions out there, no problems at all. Temperatures back in the lower 70s and plenty of sunshine. So looking very nice out across much of the Mid-South as we get into the next couple of days. The storm system coming on through, again, it's mainly going to be just sticking around throughout much of Thursday. By Thursday night, it begins to lift on out of the picture. And then by Saturday, it looks like everything is pretty much gone and nothing else heading our way for the weekend. So a very nice weekend coming our direction. So that's definitely good news to tell you about there. If we have the availability for later on tonight, we'll be taking a look at what's going on when it comes to anything involving uh, astronomy across the Mid-South. A couple of things to tell you about uh, for the next couple of days. There's going to be an observing party with Memphis Astronomical Society at the Memphis Green Line around Mullins Station Road coming up this weekend. And again, should be great weather for that. Check out more information available on our Sky Blog page. That's going to be uh, coming up a little bit later on tonight on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe to that icon right there for more information. And for all the weather you can hope, possibly hope to know about the Mid-South, check out more details Again, available at wreg.com slash weather for more. Again, if you are going to be seeing anything in the way of travel outdoors tonight, keep in mind that there will be more chances of rainfall heading our way. So even though it may be just a few raindrops on the windshield right now, it is going to be fairly soggy throughout the rest of tonight and into tomorrow. So that's something we're going to have to watch with a lot of interest out there. So definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information on that, which we will be doing here on News Channel 3 here in the live live units, the live personal unit, I guess you would call it. And if you're going to be doing, again, anything tonight, check out the forecast with News Channel 3's uh, Jim Jaggers at 10, and Todd Demers will have more coming up on News Channel 3 tomorrow morning. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. And, of course, I'll have more on your forecast with Bob and Josh on AM 730 on uh, Yahoo Sports Radio. So more information available there. Live and direct from out and about this evening, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a quick weather update, our weather, over blog, weather overtime video blog. I really need to have dinner sometime soon. This is our update to keep you updated. So if there's something on here you want to see, austin.onic at wreg.com. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online. And thanks for joining us for tonight's quick weather update on Weather Overtime.